Hello everybody, my name is Claire and this is my floss tube channel where I talk about cross stitch. Today is March the 7th 2021 and it's been about mm, two years since my last floss tube. It's been quite a while so thank you so much to anybody who has stuck around and not deleted me off their YouTube lists. Um, it might be a little bit of a surprise to see me popping up in your feed. Um, and welcome to anybody who is finding me for the first time. I want to give a special thank you to anybody who has contacted me over the past two years just to check that I'm alright and to say that they miss me and to encourage me to make more videos. And I, I really, really appreciate everybody that has done that. So thank you very much. Um, so the reason why I haven't been making videos is because life just got insanely busy, as happens. Um, I was doing a college course, which I've now completed, so I'm now a qualified psychotherapeutic counsellor, and I have set up my own private practice. And in the middle of all that, COVID hit, so it's quite tricky to film videos when everybody is at home all the time. School starts again tomorrow here in the UK and um, my li two little darlings will be going back to school so they are very much looking forward to it. They're at the park at the moment so I've got about half an hour so we'll make the most of it. Um, I thought that instead of showing you my current whips that I would use this video to show you the finishes that I have completed since I last spoke to you. Finishes, plural, I've got lots. I counted um, on my Instagram feed, which is where I keep track of all of my um, my cross stitch progress, and I have 28 finishes since I last saw you. 28. Now I'm known for my starts, and I do currently have 85 whips, works in progress, on the go. I know. Um, but I have had 28 finishes. So I do get them finished. It's, it's official. I have proof. So today is just going to be a little bit of a finish parade. And then at, in another video, I will keep you up to speed with what I'm working on now. So here we go. I'm not, I've got a big pile here next to me. I'm not sure whether I'd finished this the last time I spoke to you or not, I must confess I haven't gone back and watched my last video. But here is Olivia Oakleaf by Silver Creek Samplers. I stitched her along with some of my stitching friends from Milton Keynes Retreat. And I got her finished and the colours on her are gorgeous. So she was finished number one. Um, I won't go into massive detail because I have got loads of finishes so if you have any specific questions about any of my finishes pop them below and I will just answer in the comments or next time you never know this is the only Teresa Wensler in this finish pile and it's a small one it's called Regal Peacocks and it was an old magazine um, pattern of Teresa's it's all hand-drawn pattern <laughs> very difficult to follow um, but that is the finish and there's French knots in it so I'm getting that sent off to be turned into a little pillow. As you can tell from this pile, I'm not that great at fully finishing things. So like framing them or turning them into a pillow or anything else like that. I tend to just stitch and then shove them in a drawer. This is my very first Barbara Anna finish and it's called Witch Ride. And I've, I, I blame my friend Bo. But I've got a little bit addicted to Barbara Anna lately. But this is the only Barbara Anna finish I have currently. And I really like the Tiny Rider motif. So uh, people, tiny little people riding on animals. Or normal sized people riding on ginormous animals. I love it. It's great. It makes me smile. And here we have a Lizzie Kate. Not the last in this pile. This is Spirit of Christmas and it was their mystery Christmas sampler 
uh, a couple of years ago now and it's completely finished and it's got all the buttons and beads on it and it's gorgeous I love it love it love it love it so this definitely deserves a frame there's that one now this one's a biggie and um, a fairly special one and I couldn't share progress with it as I was stitching it because I was really really happy to be chosen by Tracy Horner to be one of her beta stitches so test stitches for her concept of um, making a map through rolling your dice and going with whatever numbers turned up on the dice so this is my ink circles map and I believe you can now buy um, buy this map but yours wouldn't look like mine excuse the crease right down the middle <laughs> um, everybody who stitched it everybody's came out different because you, you had different borders to choose from and the coastline which decided where your landmass was was decided by these dice rolls so you rolled the dice and it would tell you um, where your coastline started and um, whether you went up down left right and for how many stitches and you just kept rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling until you hit the other side so mine has got, I've got a landmass either side and then all the water in the middle other people had a big island in the middle other people's coastline pretty much went from top to bottom so everybody's was different and then we got every week or so I can't remember how often it was but we got a new packet of motifs and the idea was that we gridded our land our well our map and kind of put the motifs into different grid orientations um, and tried to not to make them look all squared up um, and so this one's mine and Tracy Horner um, charted up Tintaglia for me which was my the name that I chose for my map everybody could choose their own name and um, if you know where I got Tintaglia from put it in the comments brownie points for you um, so yes and it, it has dragons and mermaids and sea monsters and baby sea monsters I love it it took about six months to stitch that because um, you know you'd catch up and then the next lot would come out um, so it's, it's really fun uh, honestly that is probably the most fun I've ever had stitching was stitching on that piece because it was just everybody's was so different it was so individual so moving on this was my Star Wars piece bless this wretched hive of scum and villainy not not nothing against my family or anything but we're gonna hang this downstairs um, yep yeah, I stitched to that while my youngest was at her gymnastics lessons this was my gymnastics piece so that is done I got that from Etsy and I can't remember the seller but if you searched bless this wretched hive I'm sure it would pop up the next one is brouhaha and this is a freebie and I can't remember who did it is it primitive hair could be could be something like that and I changed some of the colors out on this one and I've got it finished and make that one into a little pillow for Halloween my very happy pumpkin dude this one is a gift for my friend at home honestly you look all the I need to wash and iron it if friends were flowers I'd pick you by Emma Congdon and that pattern came in a little booklet that was free with a magazine I've already sent that away to somebody else who wanted it um yeah it's a bit of a twee saying um, but deliberately so because it's an ongoing joke between my friend and me that if you pick a flower it withers and it dies and if that's how you treat your friends well <clears throat> not sure I want to be your friend so but honestly I've got so much tact 
around the house with this saying on it because every time either of us sees it anywhere in any gift shop or anything we have to buy it and so for Christmas and birthdays that's what we get each other but everyone thinks we're really into this twee kind of decor they're not they don't know right the next one is a small Lizzie Kate this was a bonus chart that came with the spooked mystery a few years ago so I stitched that up that is Winnie the witch and she's got has she got beads on no she's she hasn't she's just straight floss I like her hair Whee! that's how mine looks sometimes um, another bonus spooked is for the birds and this one does have lots of buttons on so the cat's eyes and the bird on the the beak on the bird well, that was quite fun and then the final spooked so I've stitched the entire spooked lot now including all the bonuses was this little scissor fob design I think I've finished that in one day because it's just tiny so I need to get those made up into cushions to go in a bowl or something. Sticking with the tiny theme, this is how I've got so many finishes because they're all so small. Um, when Covid hit last year, um, a lot of you will probably remember that there was a movement of designs from the designers of Cross Stitch um, called Be Well and Stitch and all these fabulous designers released loads of free charts on the theme of Be Well and Stitch just to keep everybody's spirits up um, in the cross stitch community when we were all told to stay home and so I down <laughs> downloaded all of them I've got them all on my laptop but I've only stitched three so this is the first one I stitched which was ink circles Be Well which is lots of bees and a well which I liked the second one was Jeanette Douglas and I altered the colours up a little bit on this one to make it a little bit brighter but that was her Be Well and Stitch freebie and I think all of these freebies are still available if you google it um, and the other Be Well and Stitch freebie is this one which was by Satsuma Street Jodie Rice Let's stay home. Now that one was a little bit bigger and took a little bit longer to do. You can see that I don't fit, don't, don't do anything with the ends. I see all these Facebook posts. How do you stop the ends fraying? I don't. But there's never it never frays too much, so it's fine. So those were last spring. And then at my first virtual retreat, because Milton Keynes retreat that I normally go to twice a year obviously it's been cancelled and cancelled and cancelled so we met together on I think it was zoom last spring to do a virtual stitching retreat and I got a finish while I did that and it is this piece here ink circles little alien schoolgirl and I love 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 it it's always good to get a finish at a retreat I always feel like people are cheering me on but there's so met so many fun motifs in this piece and this is stitched on vintage country mocha 18 count with the called for threads and the only change that I did was uh, this line along here um, it's the Futurama alphabet that Tracy has chartered and it's a freebie on her website to go along with this piece. Um, the original says Matt Groening rocks because he's the Futurama guy. Um, I didn't want that on my piece so I used the alphabet and changed it to my name and the date. And no one will ever know unless, <laughs> unless you can read Futurama. I'll probably um, put the alphabet in the back when I frame it or something like that but that is a really really fun piece to stitch highly recommend it the next piece was bright on bright yellow fabric and this is like sunglasses needed bright 
You Are My Sunshine, My Only Sunshine, Emma Congdon design, available on her Etsy, I think. And this is for my youngest daughter, as we still sing it to her. We've sung it to her all her life, and she's nine now. Um, so we're going to frame that up for her. I've got the other two in the series as well, and I've started stitching You Make Me Happy When Skies Are Grey. Not got very far, but that one is done. Then, a December. I like the monthlies, but I've, I have yet to complete a monthly series. But I've done a few from quite a, quite a number of different series. And this one is December. And I think it is the Year of Celebrations from Hands On Design. Um, and most monthlies, you have to buy each chart individually and it can add up to quite, quite expensive. With these ones, you just buy the chart, and I think it was £15, and you get all 12 months. And they have also added extra charts for July and November, I think it is, to represent the Canadian versions of those months because these ones are thoroughly US and so they have um, Thanksgiving and uh, the 4th of July. And obviously there's no UK version, but um, I, can, I can make something up, I think. But I really like these ones. I've started the January one, so it's one of my 8 to 5 whips. It'll get done. And then sticking with the December Christmas theme, we have Come Let Us Adore Him by Lizzie Kate. And I like this one. Look at the straw around baby Jesus. And that's just a few little straight stitches, but I think it looks really effective. I really like it. There's that one and I think possibly the smallest finish although I think maybe the Lizzie Kate house one was smaller Love by Mill Hill and yes I need to finish it um I need to put the key on the bottom and to back it onto felt so that I can hang it on my seasonal tree but and I've got everything I've got all the felt but finishing It's not what I do. I finished a hade. Heaven and Earth Designs. This is my bubble fairy cat face. Look at the colours. Oh, she's so beautiful. And I started her in I think something like 2008. So she's been she's been a, an, a you know a good friend to me over many years, but I finally finished her in December when she was my focus to get finished last year. So, but I mean, look, she's tiny, really. She's quite small, but there is a, so much stitching in one of these, and she's only the QS. So the artwork is by Carrie Hawks. Chart work, chart work, charted by he Heaven and Earth Designs. See, I do get them finished. And the next one is from Stitching Book Club. And this was the Christmas Carol mystery stitch along that started just before Christmas. And we got, I think this was three pieces, three kind of releases um, made up this design. And I've never stitched with... Um, the Stitching Book Club before. Apparently it's been going for like a couple of years now, but I hadn't heard it. I'm always late to the party. So um, I caught up with The Christmas Carol and I've got the design has as has been released so far for the Sense and Sensibility um, stitch along, which is going now. Um, I think they've released two parts. And the idea is that you read the book um, alongside stitching the pattern and then on the Facebook group there are different questions about your book so it's like a book club an online book club but you just get a stitch a stitching piece to go with it I haven't started yet I've got the fabric and the threads but I've been focusing on Barbara's, Barbara Anna's Dreaming Girl so I haven't started the Sense and Sensibility yet but this was The Christmas Carol and look look at all of these French knots loads of them and 
when I started to do them, I realised I'd completely forgotten how to do a French knot. And there was me just cursing at my fabric. And then I remembered and it was all good from there. And alongside that piece, on the third release, third pattern release, there were um, some freebies at the end. Just little little ones. So they've, they've been done as well. So we've got Bar Humbug and a Christmas Carol. And God bless us, everyone. God bless us, everyone. Just little ones. Didn't take long to do. Then we get to uh, kind of this year. And a monthly series I'm determined to keep up with. And this is Country Cottage Needleworks um, Sampler of the Month. That's what they're called. And this is January. And so I signed up for the club with Peakside Needleworks for this. And so I got all the threads at the beginning. And then every month, Sue from, from there will send us the um, pattern and the fabric to go with it. And the fabric is beautiful beige. Um, and I use it on the 16 count Ada. But that's January. And February was my very first time of finishing. I thought, I can do this. I can do this. So I ordered this frame from easyframe.co.uk. And you can put in your own custom measurements. So this is a four by nine inch frame. And you get to choose what frame you want and they send it to you and so this it was my first ever go at lacing a project now i'm going to show you i'm going to show you my back side uh it's just this is to encourage you really rather than to say how great i am because it's not great <laughs> um if i hold the end of the thread it looks as though it's quite taut but no, it came out. So it's not really... <laughs> but it stays in place. It's all right. But that was my first ever go at lacing. Mm. And I used a size 10, I think, crochet thread to lace it. But it looks good. And it looked good in the frame. So that was February. Got all those cakes. Mm, cake. And then March. It's in a frame. In a frame. Hello, my name is Claire and I frame my finishes. Or one of them anyway. So this is March. I love the frame. Easyframe.co.uk. And these are my little leprechauns. And instead of the yellow, which was chartered to do the leprechaun gold, I changed it out for a petite treasure braid. That's March. April has been posted to me but it's not arrived yet I'm going to show you my back again because this is my second attempt at lacing it's a bit better don't you think it's a bit better it at least it's not flying loose <laughs> so yeah that's what the back of March looks like I'm getting the hang of it I'll be fine March back up on there then I've got just two more finishes. I tried filming this yesterday and the technology failed me. So um, my husband's brand new camera says, use this love, use this, it'll be great. In and out of focus. Honestly, I felt travel sick watching it. So I couldn't use it. Um, but I only had like 20, 27 finishes or well, anyway, I had one fewer finish yesterday. But this was a finish that I did on Friday and this is Love Bug by Ink Circles. And this was the very first Patreon exclusive chart that Tracy released. Um, and it again was inspired by COVID because all the spiky bits sticking out are reminiscent of the spiky bits of the COVID germ. But as Tracy said, the only thing that we should be passing to each other is love. 
So love bug. So I'm a patron, Patreon, patron of Ink Circles Patreon. So I pay a little bit a month and every month Tracy releases an exclusive chart, which I love, and um, a colouring chart, a colouring mandala that she has designed. Um, and we get lots of sneak peeks and little videos um, of what's going on behind the scenes. And then so far we've had two little packets of goodies arrive in the post with Ink Circle stickers and cards and some thread. Um, just a little packet of gorgeousness arriving from America. And I love it. I love being a Patreon of Ink Circles. Highly recommended. I'm looking forward to all the um, Ink Circles releases from Needlework Expo, which is happening this weekend. So I think I've ordered all but one of the new Ink Circles <laughs> releases. So that'll keep me busy. Then this morning was my last finish for today. And that is Lucky. So you can tell it's hot off the hoop. Lucky by Cherry Hill Stitchery. You can find Cherry Hill Stitchery on Etsy. And this is such a cute little design. And as I'm decorating or trying to decorate around my seasonal tree for monthlies, I don't really have anything for March other than March. So I thought this would make a really cute little pillow. Um, so I finished that up this morning. So that's me. Those are all my finishes. So um, hopefully it it's good to be back hopefully you've enjoyed this video and uh, next time I don't know when that will be I'm making no promises um, I will keep you up to date with what my whips are and what my plans are and things like that so it's been lovely to see you my uh, thing is flashing at me 